I'm a firm believer that throughout the Diocese of Syracuse, there are men interested in the priesthood, and I think there are men actually praying and discerning God's call in their life. Many of them discerning God's call to the Holy Priesthood. As priests and lay people, we're called to look around and to see who might be the best candidate to study for the priesthood. So what are the things that you might look for in a candidate studying for the priesthood? I'd like to offer three suggestions. As you look around your parishes or your schools or wherever you find yourself in ministry, I'd like to offer three suggestions or tips as to what to look for in a possible candidate for the priesthood. So the first thing is to look for a man of prayer. Is this somebody you see spending time in prayer? Is this somebody you see cultivating a relationship with Jesus Christ? You see them at Mass. Maybe it's daily Mass. Maybe it's at weekend Mass. Maybe it's other prayer times throughout the week at church or at school or whatever ministry or function you're at. Do you see them as a man of prayer? Prayer is so important in the life of a priest because if we don't have that relationship with Jesus Christ, then everything falls apart. So first and foremost, they have to be a man of prayer. The second thing I would recommend is it be a man of humility. Is he humble? Can you look at the man and recognize that he's not so full of himself and what he thinks his plans are and what he wants to do with his life, that he wouldn't be open to changing everything and following what God might be calling him to? In terms of humility, would he be humble enough to say that I would give my life in humble service to the Lord? So I think humility is one aspect that we need to look at as well. And then lastly, the third suggestion that I would give is, is it a man of service? So when you see a possible candidate for the priesthood, is it somebody who's willing to give himself in generous service to the church, to God, to others? Is it somebody who's already serving in the church? Somebody who's already serving in any kind of ministry, whatever it might be, and you see them doing that on a regular basis. They're committed to it. They're part of it. They invest themselves in it. So I would just offer those three simple suggestions. When you're looking at possible candidates for the priesthood, is it somebody who prays? Is it somebody who practices that virtue of humility? Is it somebody who's willing to be of service? Because in a sense, those are the three hallmarks of the priestly life, prayer, humility, and service.